Hi, and welcome to this video where we go over patch 1215 and how it affects the e the League of Legends esports ecosystem. Um, we're going to go over the teams that are still in the playoffs or are worlds relevant for that matter. Um, and just highlight the champions that are buffed and nerfed and what teams tended to play them or have players that have played uh, champions like that in the past. Now, keep in mind, I do look at this black or white. There are some people that will say, well, technically this wasn't a big buff, so it won't affect pro play. This is a little nerf or whatever. It's like, yeah, but um, we're not getting the nitty gritty in this. This is just like for theory crafting, meta crafting and things like that. Just kind of taking a look at what could be as we head into the playoffs. I did not expect 1215 to be the playoff patch. Honestly, I think it's kind of weird that they're starting playoffs on a brand new patch but lpl did so i'm assuming everybody's going to so we're going to get this video out um now for the lpl jdg is happy about this patch actually most i think all of the lpl fan uh, teams except weibo were happy about it weibo um i mean it's a mixed result because there weren't a ton of nerfs on this patch that teams had played a ton the way I look at it, um, if a player has played a champion that was nerfed at least five times in the LPL or LCK, I consider that team affected because they use that champion quite a bit. Um, when it's LEC or LCS, it's three um, or even two in some cases. Um, now, when it comes to buffs, it's if a champion has been played more than five times in the past by a player. I look at the last couple years and try and get an idea for that. So if a player has played a champion a ton like four years ago that's not going to be listed here um so jdg lee sin and lilia for kanavi are picks that he's used in the past um we have thrush and leona for missing missing has used both um both being buffed leading into uh playoffs is a big deal um that could change everything change the enchanter meta you know and um jdg really relied on talia this split and Callista more so than most other teams. I did notice like the top teams really like used Talia mid, where um, other teams would shy away from it. At least their mid laners did, uh, compared to their other champions played. Now RNG, Lilia, Lee Sin, and Leona show up again. Obviously Ming can play Thresh, but he hasn't played it a lot recently, so it's not listed. And Akali, Breathe is one of the handful of players that has played Akali a lot in the top lane over the last couple years so he's listed on there and jahu has played talia quite a bit um lng thresh leona and bot lane lee sin and then akali akali in the case in the case of ale has been a pick of his in the past so maybe we see that tomorrow who knows i imagine doombi can pull it out too i think he did actually um I think he's done it a couple times this past this split. So Akali could be a, th a threat for them and a flex, given that both will play it. LCK, we have Thrash Leona for Lahen and Singed. He was willing to play the Singed a lot. Singed was buffed. Um, Singed has drawn um, bans when Jen has played T1 in the like biggest series of the LCK. They banned Singe, so Lahens couldn't get it. It's been buffed again. I would not be shocked at all if he pulled it out. I am I mean, it's kind of crazy to think about, but it's true. Peanut also plays Lee Sin quite a bit. Damwon Kia, Thresh, Leona, Lee Sin. These are going to be pretty standard for most teams. Um, Sandbox, Leona, and Lee Sin. Cal has not played all that much yet in the LCK, so he really hasn't played in the Thresh meta to the point where he used a ton of it. And then they relied on the Gwen and Sivir a lot this patch, more so than most other people. Um, obviously, everybody played Gwen and everybody played Sivir, but not everybody played it quite as much as Sandbox did. And we'll see if that is a thing in 12-15 or not. I do not recall if a Sivir was picked this morning in the five games. I think it was. I don't know if it won or lost, but I saw quite a bit of Athelios. Um, and we saw Samira and Tristana. Um, so... I don't know if Sivir is hurt by the nerfs on 12.15 all that much or not. LEC, Fnatic, Thresh. Um, for Hilly, obviously Hilly can play Leona too, but I think his Thresh is definitely more notable. Um, Lee Sin and Lilia for Razork. Razork is a Lilia uh, player. And then Akali for Humanoid. Um, a weird, well not weird, but just similar to the Breathe situation. A handful of players really have you know, relied on the Akali in the past. And it is something to to note. 
Um, obviously, there are players that are nasty on these champions. Like, I imagine Knight's nasty on Akali, but he doesn't get to pick it a lot, so it's not there. You know, it's not going to be on the board. Misfits, Leona, and Thresh for Mursa. G2 is the only team that actually has a net negative from me on this patch. Um, it's only negative one. There's only three champions listed. Yankos tends to play a lot of Lee Sin, um, and Lee Sin is buffed. But they uh, played a lot of Talia this patch as well as Gwen. Well, not this patch, but this split. And Talia and Gwen have been nerfed. Broken Blade obviously has an ocean. Caps obviously has an ocean. So is this a massive nerf? No, to the team. It's very minor, but nevertheless, a net negative one. Um, obviously, Yankos has played Lily in the past. Obviously, Caps has played Akali. Um, and all these teams have played Sivir and Callista, but we're just looking at what's most played or you know, historically most played and relied upon. Not necessarily, oh, I can do it in a one-off situation. LCS, these are the teams that liked it the most. This patch was definitely um, something the LCS is going to benefit from. Um, actually, EG was the most uh, buffed. I don't know why I put TL first, but EG, Thresh and Leona for Vulcan. Lee Sin and Lilia for Inspired. When I think of Lilia, I think of Inspired and Canyon. I really do. Um, those two players really came on the scene when Lilia was meta and really set a tone and put their name out there, you know. So, honestly, I, I'm excited and hoping that we see Lilia a bit. Um, and then Akali for Impact and JoJo, but more so Impact. Impact played it a couple times this split, and um, Akali has been something he's played in the past a lot. TL, Thresh, Leona for Core. Obviously, Core has been around the block. He can play anything. Lee Sin and Singed, Bwipo is willing to play anything under the sun, and Singed has been something he has picked before. Will he play the Singed? Who knows? It's playoff time. I wouldn't be shocked if it's an early, you know, game one or game two pick out of him. I wouldn't be shocked at all. And then Lee Sin for Santorum. 100 Thieves, Thresh, and Leona for Huhi. Uh, Lee Sin for Closer. Closer's Lee Sin is disgusting. And then Akali for um, Abadage. Um, he has played Akali in the past, so maybe Akali will be a pick for him. I don't know. doesn't really seem like an Abadage pick, but apparently, I mean, looking back at it, it has been before. So is it buffed enough to become that? I don't know. Comment down below with your opinions on what champions you think from patch 1215 we might see inserted into the meta. What, team, what champions do you think will leave the meta as a result of nerfs? Subscribe to the channel if you like my sort of content that I put out. Um, obviously, there's been three videos today. I did do my LCK wrap-up earlier, as well as my roundup where I covered OMG and FPX and previewed tomorrow's series. Tomorrow, there will be the roundup, um, my LEC wrap-up video, and um, my minor region power ranking. So hit the notification bell. There's a lot of content coming out in a short time right now. Trying to get it out before playoffs start for the four major regions when it comes to wrap-up videos. And this one was spur of the moment, honestly, because I didn't expect 12.15 to come out. So, thank you for watching. Go to the Discord if you'd like to join us in the community. And thank you for watching again.